This video will cover the topic, Arc Length and Central Angle Measure. How are the arc length and central angle related? Let's take a look at a circle. If a central angle of theta radians intercepts an arc length s in a circle of radius r, then the length of the arc can be defined as follows. s equals r times theta. Let's take a look at an example problem. A circle has a radius of 2 inches. Find the length s of the arc intercepted by a central angle of 90 degrees. Okay, so we can substitute 2 in for r, and 90 in for theta, right? That's almost right. However, when using this formula, we must keep the radius in radian measure, and we can't have units of degrees. This means we'll have to convert the given angle to radian measure. Okay, I don't think I remember how to do that. Since we want to convert degrees to radians, we'll multiply our given angle in degrees by pi radians over 180 degrees. This results in an angle of pi halves radians. Now we can substitute pi halves for theta in our equation and solve for s. Rounding to the nearest tenth, we see that the arc length is 3.1 inches. There is another way we can solve this problem. Let's take a look at the following proportion. The central angle that intercepts the arc divided by the central angle of the entire circle is equal to the length of the arc divided by the circumference of the circle. Do we need to convert our angle from degrees to radians using this method as well? No, we don't need to do that here. The ratio of our given central angle to the central angle of the entire circle will be the same whether we use degrees or radians, so we don't have to convert any units when using this proportionality method. We do, however, need to find the circumference of the circle. The circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times the radius of the circle. Since the circle's radius is 2 inches, the circumference of the circle is 4 pi inches. The given central angle of the circle is 90 degrees. The central angle of the entire circle is always 360 degrees or 2 pi radians depending on the units we choose to use. And we had just found the circumference to be 4 pi inches. We can substitute these values into the proportion and we'll once again let s equal the length of the arc. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 4 pi inches to solve for s. Using our calculator, we see that s equals 3.1 inches, which is the same result we found using the first method. Okay, so to find the arc length or central angle measure, we can use the formula s is equal to theta times r and substitute our known values into the equation, making sure the central angle is in the units of radians. We could also set up a proportion in order to solve this problem, and we would arrive at the same result. That's exactly right. Great work!